We are the Chemical Insights Research Institute, known as CERI, and we are opening these labs today that are going to give us significant capability in really uh, helping unravel the mysteries of environmental pollution impact on health, and uh, we'll be able to share that knowledge to not only consumers, policymakers, manufacturers, educators that can all use it to help create a uh, safer and more sustainable future for us all. This new Siri facility assembles a lot of different technologies that allow us to tackle challenges to human health in the 21st century from different angles, but they're integrated, and that's what excites me the most about this facility. When I walked through the first time, I was speechless. When we worked on this, it was from a vision, and it took almost a year and a half. But from that vision came the technology and the talent and embodied in a, a world-class facility that I'm excited to bring all of my colleagues from around the globe to see. I really think this grand opening is a milestone in, um, in our history because it gives us a chance to get the word out in a very meaningful way about what we're doing here. And I think that not everyone realizes that now under one roof, we have the technologies and facilities to do cutting edge environmental exposure research in such a way that not many other places can. And I think that puts us in a great position to start to address some of the world's really biggest problems related to environmental exposures. Well, we have three specific laboratories, or we're calling them centers. We have one called the Advanced Measurement Center. The work that we do in the Center for Advanced Measurements uh, is, is very important in that we're actually identifying those specific chemicals um, that may cause someone harm, may cause you harm. Siri is on kind of like the, the forefront of emerging technologies and uh, the chemical emissions coming from those. So especially 3D printing, vaping. You will go into the Center for Exposure Science where we have these specialized exposure chambers. So we live in a world full of dangerous things uh, that are part of our everyday lives. Chemicals are emitted from products that we use uh, and things that exist in our homes. And we don't always understand the relationship between being exposed to those things and how they may impact our health. So we measure environmental concentrations of chemicals and link them to exposure potentials in people. So one of our main tools are exposure chambers that allow us to control environmental variables like humidity and temperature uh, in a very, very tightly controlled way. We also have our exposure chambers associated with our house air system, which provides very, very low, almost zero background for particles and uh, pollutant gases in the atmosphere. So we're operating in a very clean environment that allows us to determine very specifically what chemicals are being emitted from products, processes, or any other type of scenario that we want to evaluate. And then we'll move into what we're calling the Center for Toxicology and Human Health, where we have some of the really specialized instrumentation that is taking all of that and, and, and using human cells in ways that we are evaluating uh, what the effect of this exposure is on them. So at the Center for Toxicology and Human Health, we aim to identify and characterize chemicals or metal exposures that pose a significant human health risk and exposure risk. So the average person should be aware of our work research because it's a misconception that some of the products that they use on a regular basis have been tested for their safety. So what we're doing is trying to understand how consumer product usage and the behaviors around the usage of those products may contribute to underlying health effects that are previously unknown. This system is widely used to uh, study skin absorption. You see it more widely probably in um, pharmaceutical industry to look at skincare products and topical ointments. So we are actually using this system to study uh, forever chemicals. So we are looking at um, the absorption in the skin 
Most of our instruments can detect different signals that cells tend to generate when they are in, in distress. And so we can use our instrumentation to detect those signals and characterize them and determine if there is actually an issue going on after the chemical exposure. Something that we talk a lot about here is this idea of research to impact. And we don't want the research that we're doing to get put on a shelf somewhere and not help anyone. What we really want is that people would get the information that we're learning from our research, be able to apply that, and, and, and it would improve their lives or help them make better choices or in some way make an impact. The impact for scientists in general will be very significant because we will be generating information that helps scientists and especially product development uh, type of scientists understand how they can create safer products. So what we like to do is we create a lot of educational type of resources, whether it be guidance documents or technical reports or even like e-learning modules or educational handouts. And we work with different kinds of partner organizations to get that information to the people who really need it. So people who are stakeholders in a particular topic and they can use what we're learning and apply that and we can make an impact with what we're learning. I love working at Siri because every day is new and unlike academia, all of our research goes to educate consumers and our stakeholders and uh, also create awareness about different hazards that might exist in our daily lives. We have a lot of challenges to understand kind of this environmental exposure, chemical issue, and especially how all of that is impacting health and leading to diseases that we're seeing today, whether it's asthma, whether it's cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease. We now know that environmental pollution is a large component and even cancer, why this is happening. And so a lot of our early work had been on identifying the problem but we really wanted to move to solving the problem. And so in order to do that, we needed to bring in top of class research faculty that had training in some of these developing areas and also acquire what I call state-of-the-art equipment. I want to come and work here. I want to be a scientist just so I can use those really cool instruments. The grand opening is important to me uh, because I had a direct role in, in kind of planning and designing my lab in particular, as well as helping out with the Center for Toxicology and Human Health, as well as the uh, Center for Exposure Science. We have like over 50 um, pieces of equipment, about 15 to 20, which are specialized pieces of equipment. Um, and we have uh, many workflows now that are up. So it's been exciting to get those workflows started. We now have facilities and technologies here under one roof that you really just don't find everywhere. And I think we're really poised to start to address some of the world's sort of grand challenges or greatest issues um, right here because of what we've created. We're very special because we are self-funding this, which is a very positive uh, fact for a lot of young scientists out there who really want to get involved in research and learn, bring new knowledge out into the marketplace. We have a very supportive culture where we, um, we all wear many hats and we are very supportive of each other. So the culture that we've tried to establish here at Siri is fun and engaging. We like to think that every day is a new day and we uh, accept the challenges and we look forward to addressing societal issues and helping uh, drive the science forward as well as uh, ensuring that all of our researchers here are uh, fulfilled and uh, rewarded with the research that we're conducting here. I get to do really interesting things with wonderfully smart people. I also think that the culture here is very kind of can do. I think we have a lot of really smart people here, but everyone jumps in to get the job done because I think we all believe in the mission of the organization. 
The future looks great. We've been building for a number of years and expanding our research platform. We are ready to go and really conduct some very significant research that's going to bring a lot of new information to, uh, to the marketplace. We're not done. We want to continue to expand our laboratory facilities. Um, this is a, a marker in the road and an important one, but we're still in a growth phase and Siri has a, a lot of other places where it can have an impact.